Hello, welcome to Crestone, and I wanted to make this video to give you a little tour of my yurt. Let's go check it out. Uh, 30 feet in diameter. Since we're outside, I might as well show you. Okay. Here's my bird feeder. And I have a security system as well as a, um, a couple um, antennas for my MiFi. Around the outside first. That's where my um, fireplace exhausts itself. <laughs> you can see I'm surrounded by trees. And I have these uh, roll up windows. And this is, um, I don't know, some sort of plastic. And it's just velcroed in. <coughs> I have two doors and I also put up a um, some motion lights on either side uh, that turn on at night when they see motion so and I installed these guys okay here's the interior I have umbrellas hanging upside down all over the place. Um, some of my storage. I have a painting hanging off the ceiling. Here's my uh, bed. I have this um, the skylight uh, with this handle that I can turn to open and close the dome. That allows fresh air in. I have this um, kitchen island that I got at Ikea. <laughs> Propane stove. And right now I have one of those um, kettles that they use for beer making. And eventually what I'm going to do is put a shelf on this side. And then I can raise it up and use a gravity fed hot water when I need it. I also put in this sink. It just goes to a bucket right now for gray water. And our shelving. This is my solar setup. This is an MPP solar unit. And this is a 24 volt system. Um, it combines an inverter, well let's see, yeah, sine wave inverter, it's 2 kilowatt MPPT charge controller, so it controls the, the solar energy coming from the sun and goes down to the batteries, and then it has a um, utility battery charger, so just in case I can plug in from uh, utility or AC power, it switches to... Um, utility or AC power automatically if you have that available and you can hook these up together so you can get multiple ones of these if you want and then I have my um, Battleborn batteries so I have 24 I mean I'm sorry I have four 24 volt batteries that Add up to 4.8 kilowatts, something like that. Okay. This is a view of the front door that we walked in. And why don't I just go to the center and I'll just go around slowly. So, there's painting. 
There's the back door. You know, in my bed. Storage, big mirror. Can you see me? Can you see me there? Um, I have a uh, compost toilet in the tent, the potty tent. Let's see here. And that um, toilet, basically, it uh, separates the liquids from the solids. The thing is, is that the thing that smells is actually urine. And if you mix the urine and your um, your your poop together, then it becomes a uh, a biohazard. But if you separate it out, urine is actually considered um, neutral, not neutral, sterile. And um, and then you can compost the uh, the solid waste. And I throw that in a trash can outside. And I'll have two trash cans, and when one is full, I'll fill up the other one, and then I'll dump the first one. And that way, it would just be like soil. And I use this uh, coconut husk stuff. I forget the name of it. But it's uh, more environmental than, say, using peat moss, since peat moss takes so long to, takes so long to grow. And so, that's the view. Let's... Uh, just do a circle here. The table, some storage I need to figure out the storage for. I have string lights that go around and also three lamps. There's my kitchen island. More lamps, the back door, more storage. And the skylight. All in the town of Crestone, in a tiny little forest on a half acre. There you go. I'm sure I'll make a follow-up for this, since I still have um, additional plans. Oh wait, let's go look at the um, solar panels. Alright, let's see how far do I have to go out here. So on the roof you'll see uh, some 160 volt solar panels and um, there's eight of them on the roof. I attached them up there with this uh, 3M industrial Velcro sort of stuff. They, they, don't use, they don't use the word Velcro because that's a trademark. Um, but it's similar to Velcro. And the adhesive they have is uh, industrial adhesive and so I didn't want to drill holes because it's on my roof. I just didn't want any water damage or possibility of water leaking. And so my options were either glue it up there or use some sort of Velcro-like material so that I can remove it. And since uh, flexible solar panels are not as hardy as like the standard um, framed solar panels, uh, so they have a tendency to break down earlier. And so I wanted the ability to trade out bad panels that go bad and also to upgrade them. So let's say I wanted to go to 300 watts instead of uh, 160 watts each. I can do that. So right now I have eight of them. They seem to be doing fine. I have four in series and then the other four in series and then what I connect them both together in parallel and then I run it into the system inside. So it's about 1.28 kilowatts or 1,280 watts that goes to my 24 volt um, battery bank which equals 4.8 kilowatts in uh, battery storage and that's that works for my needs. Okay so here are my propane tanks I have two 100 pound tanks that hold about, I think it's uh, 23 gallons. And um, when one is empty, then what I do is I lift this one over to this side, connect it, and then uh, then I take the empty one, which I'm about to do, this one's empty. And then I take it over to Ace Hardware and I get it filled up. And it's about $108 if it's totally empty and I'm filling it up, the full 28 gallons, or 23 gallons. Actually, I think it's 28 gallons. I have to check my receipt. Anyway. 
the yurt is on a deck and so I have all this uh, space underneath. I'm thinking about putting um, storage, like uh, putting in walls, maybe connecting it in between the pylons. Um, that's one idea. But I also have to add some additional insulation underneath because I have a lot of cold that's coming up through the uh, through the flooring. So this is my view. This is my neighbor's house next door. I'm surrounded by pinion. I think there's spruce somewhere around here. And I have also the king of trees, the ponderosas. That's like three stories tall. Oh yeah, there's another one right there. I have a slight view of the mountains. They're a little bit bright in the viewfinder. But mostly I'm just surrounded by trees. I'm thinking about putting a platform up so I can see above them into the valley. But it's kind of nice being surrounded by trees. It gives me some isolation. Not isolation. <laughs> it gives me some privacy. And isolation too, I guess. Plenty of birds come by. Deer. I came a little late for bears. I think they were in hibernation by now. And yeah, there I am. So that's the tour. I'm sure I'll be making an update since I'm continually trying to upgrade this place. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.